Hi, my name is Demetra B, and my sobriety date is May 19th, 2009. I've been working with MAP since March of 2013. When I get a new case assigned to me, um, we will start out with an initial Skype call before they're discharged from treatment, and I get to explain the MAP program to them and what we're going to be doing, what our relationship is going to look like, and they get to tell me a little bit about themselves and what got them to treatment, a little bit about what their goals are going to look like when they get out, where they're going to live. In a treatment environment, it's, it's very safe, it's very structured. Um, so initially when somebody gets out of treatment, everything is really big, everything is really loud, and so I get to support them through settling down into a routine in the first couple of weeks. Typically in the recovery environment, you're encouraged to call. You, you pick up the phone, you call your sponsor, you reach out to somebody. What I get to do is, on a consistent basis, reach out to these people and offer support. For the first six months, um, I call a case twice a week. I ask them questions about what their recovery has looked like, if they're finding a home group, if they're going to meetings. If they don't have a sponsor, I encourage them to get a sponsor as soon as possible. Um, we talk about their step work. And as our relationship progresses, we begin to talk about goals. We begin to talk about challenges that are being presented to them and what steps I took to overcome those same challenges in early recovery. That's the most beautiful part of, of what I get to do is just honestly share my experience and the challenges that they're facing right now. We also begin immediately talking to the family, um, whoever they've given this legal consent to call. And a lot of times this is uh, the first time that they've had contact with somebody with lengthy sobriety. There's typically a lot of questions that they have around the disease of addiction and what their role is. Families, loved ones, parents are, you know, still learning not to um, be hyper vigilant um, at that point. So there's a lot of accountability. If they have not started already, we strongly encourage them to start seeking support of their own so they can begin the journey of healing along with their loved one. Every month, the primary consent for each case is going to receive a MAP report and that's going to consist of some generalized information about how they are doing. Attached to the MAP report is also going to be the scheduled UAs. We do random UAs as part of the MAP contract. That serves um, a couple of different purposes. And I think first and foremost, um, what that serves is going to be the case. This is um, an opportunity for them to start showing up with integrity to life to start suiting up and showing up um, and to prove their commitment to go to any lengths um, for recovery. This also gives the family an opportunity to have evidence of their sobriety, um, which gives a lot of peace of mind. Being the consistent link um, in all of these changes throughout the year um, is, is a really cool part of, uh, of, of what we do. Because initially getting out of treatment, um, there's typically a lot of accountability. There's a lot going on. A lot of people go into sober homes. We're consistently there. We're consistently calling um, as these changes start to happen. So as they move out of a sober house, as the families start to gain their own understanding of the disease and start to get their own healing and their, their own recovery journey, MAP is consistently calling. I'm consistently going to be there and I'm going to support from day one through all of these changes. Um, and advocate for these cases. There are a lot of people working at MAP and every single one of them has a, a single goal of supporting the case. With our policies and procedures, with our training, with the support that, that we get, um, it's invaluable. Um, I rely on my team very, very heavily. We staff each case every day Everybody is aware of what's going on and everybody has the same singleness of purpose and that is to support the case. Being a part of all of these people and their recovery and the family and the journeys and the healing um, is what gets me the, the most excited. It's, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I love what I do. I've worked in a treatment environment for several years. Um, and this is the first time I've had the experience of being able to see what happens after and, and the growth from everybody, an entire 
family healing process. The best phone calls are the ones that are short because nothing dramatic is happening. It's the most beautiful thing. I love it.